What's going on you guys, Uncle Jesse here. This is the Ender 3 and more importantly, I have a really cool magnetic flex plate system that is part of a Kickstarter campaign from Ken Cobb. Ken reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in checking out one of his upcoming flex plates that he's gonna be releasing through his Kickstarter campaign. I said, oh yeah, sure, I'd be totally interested in checking that out. I slapped it on here on the Ender 3 and it appears to be working really well. Uh, I'll take this off here in just a second and flex it off for you guys, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of his Kickstarter campaign. The campaign ends, and I think in less than one week, there are only two campaign contribution options, both of which will get you a flex plate. One is for $45, which will get you a PEI coated metal flexible plate system here that you can specify the build volume up to 350 millimeters uh, for either a, a square build plate or circular for a delta. The other is a $60 campaign contribution which will get you the magnetic base as well, which is what I have here, which is very cool. So no more needing to have clip-ons or anything like that to hold your build plate in place. Basically, the back of the magnetic strip has uh, adhesive to it that'll stick to your build plate. Then you can just slap the, the build plate on and off, which is really, really cool. And it's PEI coated on both sides of the build platform as well, which is really cool. And again, you can specify uh, up to 350 millimeters. So I'm gonna be ordering one of these for the CR10, which I'm very excited about. And then the other really cool thing about this is that he has free shipping internationally for anybody that decides to purchase and assuming this Kickstarter campaign gets off the ground. So with all that said, let me get this print off the print bed and show you guys flexing it off the flex plate. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, so that was pretty anticlimactic. <laughs> as soon as I pulled it off of the print bed with a magnetic build plate here, it just popped right off. So normally if it was stuck really, really tightly onto the build plate, it would have popped right off. Uh, I would say that this has a crazy nice backing as well. It's sort of a, a rippled textured backing. This print came out really, really nice on the Ender 3. I can't believe I've never gotten this 3D printer up and running up until now. Super happy with this, how this turned out. I ended up using just the uh, pause print and swapped to the white filament to give you the white text here on the uh, Hey Now Howard Stern Fist. Pretty, pretty cool. I used some helper discs on the corners here. I've tried printing this once before, not on this 3D printer, but on my CR10, God knows, a while ago, and I had really bad lifting in the corner, so I decided to stick the helper discs there before printing this. Yeah, everything laid down perfectly on the flex plate here from Ken Cobb. And again, if you're interested in backing the Kickstarter campaign, I have links down below to Ken's Kickstarter campaign. No kickback to me or anything like that. I'm also a Kickstarter subscriber. Uh, Kickstarter, I guess is the term for this. <laughs> campaign contributor for this campaign. And yeah, just wanted to share this with you guys and help out Ken. Uh, if you have a 3D printer and are looking for a magnetic build plate that has a flex system for it, this is a crazy, crazy good deal. And yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys and hopefully you enjoyed and thanks again for watching and I will see y'all next time. Bye now. Look at that, helper discs, boom. Fold them, pop right off, boom. Boom! Hey now. I can't believe how awesome the Ender 3 is. <laughs> and I've not used it up until this point. Uh, yeah, this thing is going to be a workhorse here in my shop. Uh, you can anticipate some more videos here on the Ender 3 coming soon. I'm gonna throw down a Sub-Zero mask right now.